Sport at the Service of Humanity, Faith and Sport We envision a world where our faith-based values guide us in sport and in life. A world where we live like we play. Last 2013, there was a strong typhoon who destroyed the community. We lost our loved ones, our friends, and people who are dear to us. We started to rebuild the houses, the food, and anything, but it's easy for us to be dependent of what other people give us. But through sports, we were, we were reminded that we need to work hard to get what is important to us. I'm from Israel and I live in an Arab town. And like in my town, we're not too connected to the Jewish because they live in another town. So we, did, we don't have like the chance and the opportunity to meet them a lot and to speak with them. It's more than squash. The unique about squash in Israel that Arab kids and Jewish kids playing together. When we play together and talk to each other, we can learn like uh, things about each other. Maybe they had like a bad idea about Arabs like before this, and now like we are more friends. And yes, I learned this, how to live with Jewish and how to be a family. Sport is waking up to the fact that it has a great responsibility to serve um, social development and even peace. Faith is underpinning so much of what goes on in, in society, in life in general. So I think it's absolutely right and absolutely the right time that a faith based organization teamed up with sport to see where there are common values and how both sides, religion and sport, can benefit from um, a mutual cooperation. Sports is one of the most successful vehicles to bring youth uh, into a world of values, teamwork, positive action. Sports are always uh, a possibility of growth, internal growth of all those engaged into sports. It's an extraordinary program which provides opportunities to those very creative and committed young people in order to build a better future for humankind, really for humankind. Sport at the Service of Humanity combines our passion for sport with the values of faith to serve humanity, to change people's lives. One of the ways we do this is through the Young Leaders Mentoring Program, nurturing young athletes as leaders and role models in sport and in life. Using our six principles, compassion, respect, love, enlightenment, balance, and joy as guiding values, sport at the service of humanity is changing lives by taking young athletes from around the world through a year-long character building and personal growth journey, guided by notable global mentors. In doing so, these young leaders are being transformed, and in turn, they are transforming their local communities. I can glean off of people's wisdom, off of the knowledge of experts globally in the world of sport, business, and faith that come together and give us their wisdom and knowledge. There's, in a very short period of time, already a sense of community. Um, there's a desire to want to share their journey, to learn, and the mentors and the organizers around the Sport at Service of Humanity really care to help them become their best selves. SSH impacted me to have like a different perspective with sports. I didn't realize that these values are, are very useful for me to become a better person and a better role model in my community. Inspired by Pope Francis' words, challenge yourself in the game of life as you do in the game of sport. Sport at the Service of Humanity was launched at the Vatican in 2016. This became an opportunity to help us change the narrative in sport and leverage the power of faith and sport to change the conversation, to help us understand how sport can serve humanity. We're using sport as a vehicle to change people's lives and make the environment better. 
especially in a community where there's so much poverty and sadness. I think it changes their mindset and that also carries on off the field and to the homes and to their schools. It's integrating faith values into life and actually helping people to implement them day to day. I think sports at the service of humanity is a great way to change the world uh, using a universal language, which is sports.